Fatinas, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So today I'm literally so excited. We are doing the unboxing for my new MacBook Pro. If you're curious, I got the MacBook Pro 13 inch, the 2020 version, I believe, with 256 gigabytes with the touch bar thingy. I don't know what it's called. So that is what this is right here. I'm so excited. I feel like this is like my baby. And yeah, I think we're just gonna get into it. So right now it has this super, I don't even know what that is, plastic? I don't know. I'm going to undo this right now. Let me move you guys a little. I literally can't believe this is happening. Okay. Now that we got the plastic thing off, I'll throw that away later. But here it is. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to feel right now. This is crazy. Okay, let's unbox it. Oh my goodness. I literally, oh. Okay, let's, how do you open this? Okay. I'm literally, this video is literally just me being in shock for the whole time. Here it, it has like a certain smell to it. I don't know how to explain it. It low-key smells like a swimming pool, but I'm not complaining. I got it in silver, I believe. I'm gonna move this for a quick second. Okay, so in the rest of the box. Bruh. That was not a good idea. In the rest of the box, I'm pretty sure it's just like the charger thingies. So we're just gonna go through it really quick. It is this thingy. Is this the charger? I honestly have no idea. I'm really bad with stuff. But I think this is the charger. And then we sort of take that out and this like the block cord thing. The other part of the charger, I don't really know what this is, but it's the charger. So yeah, that's that. That is what is in this little box. Okay, am I literally going crazy or it kind of smells like apples? Okay, we're gonna move this box and all of the charger stuff aside and go back to the actual computer. Okay, let's take this out. How do you take this out? I don't know how to, I feel like I'm gonna break this. Okay, it's like plastic and it just flies. Oh my goodness, I already got my fingerprints on it. Wow, this is actually kind of heavy. Okay, so here it is. Let's just open it up. Bruh. That was anticlimactic. Oh my goodness. Okay, it says language. Anyways, right now I'm going to fill out all of this information and kind of just like set everything up and then I will come back. So yeah. Why does it kind of smell like apples? It does. That's weird. The touch bar. Oh my goodness. So I just finished setting up my Mac. So now it's all like set up, ready to go. So we're gonna start the fun and aesthetic part of this video, which is customizing it. I made a list of all of the things that I wanna do to my Mac, a long, long list. I really want to make my Mac just as aesthetic as possible. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating my wallpaper. I'm gonna be using Canva and Pinterest for this. I'm gonna be a very basic person and just create a collage and make that my wallpaper. So yeah, we're just gonna do that right now. So it is voiceover units here and I'm just gonna be popping in here and there to kind of explain exactly what I'm doing. So right now I'm just searching up the dimensions of my Mac and the height and the width and then I just open Canva and Pinterest and open a new tab of wallpapers for some inspo and then I just started adding all of the pictures that I wanted from Pinterest into a folder that I made. After I got enough pictures then I just imported them all into Canva and I played with the sizes of the pictures. Then I went to my phone to edit the pictures even more, airdrop that to my Mac and then made that my wallpaper. Okay. 
Okay guys, so we just finished customizing my wallpaper. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I love it. It took a while to find the pictures just because I wanted to get the perfect ones. But now that we found it, I just really love the layout of it. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to our next step, which is organizing the desktop thingy. Like those little things that pop up from the bottom. First of all, I wanna hide them when I can so they don't pop up like all the time, if that makes sense. And then I also want to take out a few things that I know I won't be using on there. So now I'm going to take that all out and I'm gonna reorganize it with all the things that I do actually use on the desktop. Okay guys, so now that everything with my desktop is completely done, I'm going to download some apps and Chrome extensions. I want to download TubeBuddy, if you don't know what that is. It's a Chrome extension that I use to make sure that my videos are always searchable and everything like that. But that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Now that we are done with all that, the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is changing all the favorites or like shortcuts in Safari. I know a lot of people, their default browser is Chrome. I don't know why, I just don't like using Chrome. I always have been using Safari for like the longest time. So there's this little section in Safari called favorites and there's like Bing, Yahoo on there and all that kind of stuff that I don't use at all. So I'm going to take all those out and put new ones in. So yeah. I'm worried that I don't have control. Don't worry, baby, don't worry. Go and get some sleep while you always in a hurry. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is changing all of my folder icons and just kind of cleaning up my desktop because I have a few pictures that are just there for no reason. So I want to clean all of my folders and all of like my little icon thingies. So yeah, also I'm gonna be changing the icon of the folders to make them more aesthetic instead of those blue folders. I think I'm gonna change them to stars or something like that. Okay guys, so right now I'm cleaning up my desktop and just getting rid of a bunch of folders. And then I just copied and pasted a picture of a star from the internet to try to make the icon for my aesthetic photos folder all of the photos that i got from pinterest that just didn't work for some reason it just kept showing up with this weird pdf thing but then i went to julia k chris website and then i found a burnt orange flower that i wanted to make my icon but then that also didn't work anyways i realized it was a problem with that specific folder so i made a new folder called aesthetic and i imported all of the same pictures on the original aesthetic folder into the new one and that icon worked thank goodness and then i just named the folder aesthetic and I made the title of the folder super aesthetic by adding a few really funny characters, so yeah. So, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be downloading all of my music. As you guys can tell from this video and every single one of my other videos, I always have music playing in the background and I get all of my music from thematic.com. So now I'm just going to log into my thematic account and download all of those onto this MacBook so I can use it like easily while editing. My brothers, one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna be moving on to the next step, which is just doing all of the little small kind of mechanical things like changing auto capitalization, showing my battery percentage, the way I want my trackpad to go, everything like that. So yeah. I watched Julia's video again and I realized that there was something that I wanted to do that I didn't do yet which is adding a sticky note. When she did it in her video they made her home screen look so much more aesthetic and just I really want a sticky note to-do list or calendar so I'm going to try to figure out how to do that right now. Okay guys so the first thing that I did was try to figure out how the sticky notes work because I was really confused and then I tried to add a screenshot of a calendar but I just ended up not really liking how that went so I went back and watched Julia's video and got some inspiration and I just decided to do a really simple white sticky note called random so yeah 
Okay guys, so it is a few days later and I finished customizing everything that I wanted to do in this video. And let me tell you, I'm literally in love with how everything turned out. If you're planning on getting a new MacBook, I definitely, definitely recommend getting the MacBook Pro 2020 13 inch with touch bar. Touch bar is so helpful. Yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like this video and comment down below customization if you stay till the end of this. Also comment down below what computer you have if you have one. I'm really curious to know what models are also really popular also make sure you subscribe and click the post notifications button because it really does all help me out i hope you guys have a great rest of your day night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys next saturday for another video bye